Hello Queens, welcome back. Today we will be making a balsamic Dijon orzo. This is a vegan friendly dish. Here are all of the ingredients that we will be using to create today's lunch slash dinner. Don't worry, everything will be listed down below in the description box. So to start off, we will be chopping our two medium ripe tomatoes as you guys see me doing here I love incorporating fresh ingredients anytime I cook you guys I'm a big advocate on anything fresh for cooking so yes this is going to be very delicious and you're simply just going to chop them down to your liking it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to add this into the dish to actually saute in the pan later Okay, so once you've actually chopped down both of your tomatoes, we're just gonna put them in a bowl and set them to the side later on again to add into this dish. Now for our black olives, you're gonna need about a half a cup and I just picked up this can of medium pitted black olives. They were cheaper versus paying for the ones that were already sliced. So yeah, we will be slicing today and you pretty much wanna just slice them down to your liking. And again, you will need about half a cup Honestly, I could have used a little bit more because I love olives. So if you love olives, feel free to add more. So here we are with our half a cup and we'll set that to the side as well. Now it's time to make the balsamic Dijon dressing. And you guys, this is like the bomb. So of course you're gonna need some balsamic vinaigrette. I'm just using this in the form of a dressing. I have used this brand before and I love it. So again, all the ingredients and the recipe again will be listed down below. You will need a tablespoon and a half of Dijon mustard or regular mustard. You'll need some basil, parsley, And then you'll also need some extra virgin olive oil or just olive oil, you guys. It really doesn't matter, but you will need a tablespoon and a half of this as well. And then we're simply going to mix all of this together until well combined. Now, of course, we're gonna add some black pepper, you guys. I love using black pepper, especially this fresh black pepper, you guys. I have become addicted to it, and this is gonna even help more to give it um, some more of that Dijon flavor, because again, I did not use Dijon. I just used regular mustard, and we will be using pink Himalayan salt, and I love this, you guys. It's a healthy alternative for using um, salt in any of your recipes, and you don't have to necessarily worry about how much you use. And then for an extra kick, we're gonna add some cayenne pepper. This was not included in the recipe. Again, I'm just freestyling, so have fun with it, you guys, while you are cooking. Now for the fun part, let's get to cooking. So now we're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil as well as some minced garlic in a pan. I just decided to do this on my own to add some more flavor to the dish. And I just like to let this heat up in a pan with the olive oil until about a minute or so. Now we're going to take a cup and a half to two cups of cooked orzo. This only took about nine, ten minutes to cook, you guys. And I'm simply going to place this here in the skillet so that way we can mix this around with the olive oil and the garlic so that we can go ahead and start getting our orzo flavored up. <laughs> and once we've done that, we're going to add in our Dijon mixture that we just made. And oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff, again, is bu bomb. It smells so good and it tastes so good <laughs> and you want to make sure that you get every single drop too it's very important now adding in our freshly chopped tomatoes oh how beautiful and then our freshly sliced olives and you will also need a can of very rinsed very well rinsed white kidney beans make sure you rinse those very well and then you're simply going to combine everything together as you see me doing here Now, of course, I'm going to go back in with some more black pepper, but this is optional, you guys. So again, just pretty much just create this to your liking. Add whatever flavors you would like to incorporate into this dish. 
pretty much just make it however you would like and then that is just simply some more pink salt and so this is what it looks like once everything is combined together in the skillet and we're simply going to mix this around again to just make sure that all of our spices and ingredients are evenly distributed so that way everything can be flavorful once we decide to go ahead and eat this okay because y'all i'm telling you this was so good it was very very filling so we're just going to cover this and let it cook for about 10 minutes even though the recipe calls for about three to four but i like to let my dishes simmer and marinate together and voila look at that you guys so good i did incorporate some sun-dried tomatoes because again i'm just extra and i like to have a lot of flavors in my dishes so yeah when i added the sun-dried tomatoes it just took it to a whole nother level and we're just going to simply make sure that all of this is stirred well together and if you think you may need to cook a little bit longer do so but if not you guys after 10 minutes this is what your dish will look like and oh my gosh you guys look at it is it doesn't it just look so good ah! So of course I made enough for me and Alexa so you see me plating for two you guys and I'm telling you like this was very hearty and um yeah like you're gonna go back for more and more and more so this is what it looks like you guys and oh my gosh look at that mm, yummy look at those olives and those kidney beans you have your tomatoes with the sun-dried tomatoes like yes come through <laughs> so let's eat you guys so excuse the way that i look but i want to share with you guys this recipe i've been using out of the cookbook it's a vegan cookbook actually that i came across at the store and i paid like three dollars for it it was like originally i think like almost 10 bucks but we have been doing a lot of recipes out of this cookbook and this was one of the recipes i wanted to share with you guys and let me just tell y'all it is good i did add some sun-dried tomatoes to it and Mmm. Mmm. It's good. It's good, but <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it is so good. The olives give it like a, I don't know, it gives it that taste. If you like olives, then you know what I'm talking about. And then the mustard. Well, we didn't have Dijon mustard, but I, in a sense, just created my own Dijon mustard while actually preparing the actual balsamic vinaigrette dressing that I use on top of it and you guys it's so good it's so good you guys so <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video with me today if you're interested to see more cooking videos please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to actually comment down below letting me know what you like about the recipe or if there's an actual recipe that you guys would like me to try out any suggestion, I'm welcome and open to them. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, queens. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye, you guys.